Are the headlines about a slowing US economy leaving you feeling uncertain? Don't be fooled by the hype and get ready for some surprising truths and a fresh perspective on the state of the US economy. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be diving into the latest facts, expert analysis and opinions that will give you a clear understanding of the current economic landscape and how it may impact your future. So grab your popcorn and join me as we embark on a journey to uncover the state of the US economy. The US economy is currently experiencing a period of growth and prosperity with a robust job market and increasing consumer spending. The gross domestic product, GDP, has been consistently rising and unemployment rates remain low. However, some experts are beginning to raise concerns that the economy may be slowing down in the near future. It's important to remember that the US economy is a complex and dynamic system, influenced by a variety of factors, both domestically and internationally. Thus, to truly understand the current state of the economy, it's important to consider multiple perspectives and economic indicators. Economic indicators are metrics used to measure the health and performance of an economy. They provide a snapshot of the current state of the economy and can be used to make predictions about future economic trends. So without wasting your time any further, let's take a look at some of the most important economic indicators and how they relate to the current state of the US economy. Gross domestic product, GDP, is a measure of the total value of goods and services produced within a country. The GDP growth rate is often used as an indicator of the overall health of the economy. In the US, GDP has been growing at a steady rate, indicating that the economy is still expanding. Employment and unemployment rates are also important indicators of the economy's health. The unemployment rate measures the percentage of the labor force that is unemployed and actively seeking employment. The employment rate measures the percentage of the labor force that is employed. In the US, employment rates remain low, indicating that the job market is strong. Consumer spending is another important indicator of economic health. Consumer spending makes up a large portion of GDP, and when consumers are spending more money, it can indicate that they are feeling confident about the economy. Inflation, which is a measure of the rate at which prices are rising, is also an important indicator. Low inflation can indicate that the economy is stable, while high inflation can indicate that prices are rising quickly. In addition to the things that I've discussed, economic indicators can also provide valuable insights into the overall health of an economy, but they do not always tell the whole story. One important factor that can greatly impact economic performance is international trade and tariffs. International trade plays a significant role in the US economy, as the country imports and exports goods and services to and from other countries. The balance of trade, which is the difference between the value of the country's exports and imports, can have a significant impact on the economy. Tariffs, or taxes imposed on imported goods, can also have a significant impact on international trade and the economy. The US government has recently implemented tariffs on certain imported goods such as steel and aluminium, as well as on goods from countries such as China. These tariffs can increase the cost of imported goods, making them less competitive with domestic products. This can lead to an increase in domestic production and in turn, create jobs. However, tariffs can also lead to an increase in consumer prices, which can negatively impact consumer spending and slow down the economy. Potential trade deals, such as the proposed United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, USMCA, can also have a significant impact on international trade and the economy. The USMCA aims to modernize and improve trade relations between the US, Mexico and Canada and, if implemented, could lead to increased economic growth and job creation. Plus, international trade and tariffs can have a significant impact on the US economy. The balance of trade, tariffs and potential trade deals can all play a role in shaping the economic conditions of the country. It's really important to monitor these factors as they can change rapidly and have a significant impact on the economy. But that's not all. The policies and actions of a government can also have a significant impact on economic indicators and overall economic performance. Government policies can have a significant impact on the economy, both in the short term and long term. Policies such as tax reform, government spending and regulations can all have an effect on economic growth and job creation. The current administration has implemented several policies aimed at stimulating economic growth, such as a tax reform and deregulation. 
the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017, which lowered corporate and individual tax rates, has been credited with increasing economic growth and job creation. However, some experts argue that the long-term effects of the tax cuts on the economy are uncertain and it may increase the federal deficit. Government spending can also play a role in shaping the economy. Federal spending on infrastructure projects, for example, can create jobs and stimulate economic growth. The current administration has proposed a significant increase in infrastructure spending, which could lead to increased economic growth and job creation in the long term. Regulations are another area where government policies can have a significant impact on the economy. Deregulation or the removal of government regulations can make it easier for businesses to operate and can lead to increased economic growth. However, some experts argue that deregulation can also lead to negative consequences, such as increased pollution and decreased consumer protection. Lastly, government policies can have a significant impact on the economy. The current administration's policies, such as tax reform and deregulation, have been credited with increasing economic growth and job creation. However, it's important to consider the long-term effects of these policies, as well as the potential negative consequences. It's crucial to closely monitor government policies and their impact on the economy to make informed decisions about the future. Now, here comes the main question. What is the current state of the US economy? Well, there are some concerns that the US might feel recession in the near future. Despite these concerns about a potential recession, the US economy is still showing signs of strength and resilience. Inflation, which is a key indicator of economic health, has been declining rapidly, indicating that prices are not rising as quickly as they have in the past. This is good news for consumers as it means that their purchasing power is staying strong. Another positive sign for the economy is the strength of the US labor market. The number of job openings is currently higher than the number of unemployed workers, indicating that employers are looking to hire and that there are plenty of opportunities for job seekers. Additionally, wages continue to rise, which is a sign that workers are in high demand and that employers are willing to pay more to attract and retain top talent. Plus, the US labor market has been consistently maintaining a low unemployment rate, which is a key indicator of economic health. The unemployment rate measures the percentage of the labor force that is unemployed and actively seeking employment. The low unemployment rate indicates that the job market is strong, which is a positive sign for the economy. It's worth noting that the economy is a complex and dynamic system, influenced by a variety of factors, both domestically and internationally. However, the decline in inflation, strength of the labor market and low unemployment rate are all positive indicators that the economy is still expanding and that the US could narrowly avoid recession in the near future. But that's all for today. I hope you found this video informative and insightful. The economy is always an ever-changing landscape and it's important to stay informed on the latest developments. So if you like this video and want to stay informed, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll keep you up to date with the latest developments and provide you with the information you need to make informed decisions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.